Marcy from Century 21 Farm and Forest, and we're at 285 Appleton Perry Drive in Rygay. Beautiful, snowy, sunny morning. This is a 1780s center chimney cape. Very cool house for somebody who's an antique buff or architectural buff. We'll be going in the back door here. This is an added on part, probably done in the mid 1800s, which accommodates their kitchen. That is an outside boiler as well as a generator. Let's go inside. This is entry into the back off that little back porch. Uh, a pantry, nice, into the kitchen, cute little sitting area here to look outside on the dooryard. The owner has done everything to keep this house within period style. They have some great Updates though here, like this Italian range, which is gorgeous. You then go through the second part of the kitchen, which is like probably the butler's pantry that houses washer, dryer, refrigerator, additional sink, and into the formal dining room, which was the center of the house. That's a Rumford fireplace in the center. It throws off a lot of heat. Great for cooking on if you want to experiment with that. We have two rooms. Well, one room, which had been a small bedroom office. They were using it as a small guest room. A full bathroom and the primary bedroom, another fireplace. I don't believe that this one's got a, a working liner in it, so that would have to be updated, but very possible. Nice, light, bright room here. We go all the way around the center of the chimneys to the front of the house. Here's the front door. Lots of closet space here. double deep. They use that for the primary bedroom and then back to the main sitting room. Again, for the dead of winter, it's nice and light and bright here. Great place to sit. They did take this fireplace chimney and install a soapstone wood stove. This would be another entry to the house on the front of the house. This addition was put on probably in the 1990s. It is an insulated heated room. Um, it could be many things. Additional living space, garden room. And then you enter in the main part of the house, the original structure and up the stairs to upstairs. Once you get upstairs, there's kind of a little area here with a window looking out to this is on the north side of the property. This is 16.3 acres on the end of a dead end road that's town maintained, dirt road. This is one bedroom. We have two closets on either side of the bed. They're deep and they go under the gam uh, the gambrel roof. We have more storage area out here. This is the bathroom, three quarter bath that's shared with the two upstairs bedrooms. And the other bedroom that's upstairs. Nice 
this closet space here as well. Really deep closet. You can look and see outside. We have a lot of overgrown pasture here, so someone could open this up. Gorgeous private setting here, kind of on the top of a little knoll. There's a stream that runs kind of on a diagonal through one portion. You can tell that there had been pastures here in years past, so you'd have room for animals. It goes all the way down by the stream. The back goes up a little bit, and there's a lot of wood for cutting for firewood. <laughs> 